Hi, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. And today we're going to look at this pretty little succulent here. It comes to us from the Little Karoo region of South Africa. And this is a cotyledon tomentosa. And it's also known as a bear's paw because the leaves, they look like little bear's paws. This is an evergreen succulent shrub. It's a member of the Crassulaceae family. And the leaves here, they're very little. They're a bit odd shaped. They're ovate. They're nice and fuzzy. And it gives us this real soft, velvety coating. And they also have these prominent, dark, red tooth edges at the top. Usually you get about three to eight of them. And that, of course, makes this leaf here look like a bear's paw. And then the reddish color, it might even extend down a little bit into the leaf itself. And this little uh, low shrub-like plant, it can grow about 12 inches high. In spring and summer, produces large red, orange, or yellow bell-shaped flowers. So although our bear's paw, it's easy to take care of, it's also very fragile. And the leaves here, they can break off quite easily because there's not a lot connecting the leaf to the stem in terms of what's called a petiole. So be careful in handling this plant. But here are a couple tips how to grow it. First, this is not very cold hardy, and it can easily die if temperatures drop below 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you grow them indoors as a house plant, you need to place them by a window that it gets uh, at least six hours of indirect light each day. And if you grow it in your garden, they prefer a little more shade than direct sun. And the best area is a brightly lit shaded spot where they can avoid direct sunlight on their little fragile paws. Now for watering, it's only necessary to water this plant when the soil completely dries out. Don't overwater them. They need well-draining soil. And if you overwater them, they can get root rot or fungal disease. And they love to have their roots soaked, but you also need to dry them out as well. And if you have them in a pot with a saucer, make sure you also empty out the saucer if it uh, retains any water. And it's best to underwater them, in fact, if you see them drying out a little bit, then just water them. And then for feeding, they don't need much attention when it comes to fertilizer. But you might want to provide a little well-balanced succulent fertilizer in the growing season in summer. All right. So this is a great little succulent for your standalone pots. A wonderful gift. Easy to take care of. Does great in your drought-tolerant succulent garden like we have here in Cota de Casa. Okay. So hope you enjoy the video. Have a great day.